So as most of you guys know, I usually use the Godox COB sort of lights, but Golden Eagle has sent me over their LED panel, the V100, which is a bicolor LED panel. Now I wanted to give it a go as bicolor LED panels pretty much have a lot of benefits over COB lights, but I'm gonna explain. I hope the rain don't come in November. So if you don't know what COB lights, essentially they stand for chip on board. So essentially it's an array of LED chips that are tightly compact together and bonded to a substrate such as silicon carbide. Now it creates one large LED chip that has excellent uniformity of brightness to allow for a smaller setup. As you can see pretty much right here, this is the SL60 from Godox. Now you can really see how small the LED chip is on the front here as obviously compared to the giant LED panel of the V100. Now the one drawback you'll usually get from bicolor is the LED panels usually lose a little bit of light due to having split amount of LED lights that are 50% warm and 50% cool. Now as, hang on one sec, here we go. As you can see here by this LED panel, I'll tone it down so you guys can see, you can see the individual LED lights right now. So this is at 8,500 Kelvin, so this is really cool. I'm gonna wind it down to about 30, I'm gonna, I'll go down to 2,500. Now you can see they are all tungsten. Hang on, it's gonna go a bit dark in a sec. Here we go. So you can see this is all tungsten right now. When I bring it up, you'll start to see the cooler lights kick in. So essentially it's gonna be sharing the power between the cool lights and the warm LEDs. That is what you call a bicolor light. We're back. All right, can I just butt in here? Oh, hey guys. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, just wanna mention that uh, quickly give this video a like, that would be absolutely amazing. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, that would be absolutely amazing because it helps the algorithm, pushes this video to other people, so give it a like. Comment below what you yeah, think on this light. Below. And also comment what kind of light you actually have because we generally use the Cobb lights or the, the Godox lights. Uh, we might actually start using this. What? So what, you, you done or? I'll leave I? you to it. Can I see it? Cool. Anyway, where were we? Now I did notice how this light at 100% full power was pretty much the same output as the SL60 at full power. Now you can see here in the vector scopes that it's pretty much exactly the same, but the one benefit to the LED panel though, and it is major, that it is already diffused. Now you can't use the SL60 as a key light by itself. Now you'll get an image looking something like this. This is without a softbox, this is purely just the LED chip on there, the Cobb chip. And yeah, you can tell it's pretty, uh, it's pretty intense. It's really harsh shadows, it's not pleasing. Let's get back into the regular footage. So this is why you actually need to diffuse the light with a softbox. Now I've got the 120 centimeter newer softbox and you know, this the larger light source, the softer the light is going to be. So you're gonna need a really large light source, but that creates a larger footprint for the cob light. Whereas the LED panel is diffused by itself, it has a smaller footprint because you don't actually need a diffuser. But if you did wanna actually diffuse this, you've just gotta add a little bit of sheet in front of it, which will add well, a bigger sheet, which will give it a bigger light source, thus creating a softer light. Now, if you don't like the diffusion on the Golden Eagle, it is pretty much soft enough as it is. But like I said, you can add a sheet to uh, add a little bit of diffusion in front of it, which will give it a larger light source as well and give it a softer, pleasing light. So even though it is a really large LED panel, it does take up less real estate than the combo of this and the softbox as well. And you even have barn doors on here to control the light spill where you would need to buy the barn doors on this or use a honeycomb to control some spill. Now one cool trick I used to use a couple of years ago is I used to cool the background by creating a warmer look. Wait, I think Andrew actually did this one. I'm, I'm gonna give him a call. Yo, hey, Handy, what's going on? Uh, not much, what about you? Um, yeah, just making this video of the V100 bicolor light by Golden Eagle. Oh, that's that like super color accurate one, hey? Yeah, it's one. Actually, can you explain the orange and blue look that you sort of get from the light when you actually turn the light warmer? 
Can oh, that's super easy. So essentially what you need to do is because it's bicolor, you set the light and the white balance on your camera to be 3200 Kelvin. 3200 Kelvin. And then as yeah. long as you have a daytime light in the background, oh, okay. then that'll go teal and then basically like your, your skin tones will stay natural. Yeah. So it's a cool way of getting that teal orange look in camera without having to like try that hard. Yeah, so what I'll do, yeah, um, I've, I've made a whole video on it. So I'll text you a link to it okay, man. so you can actually yeah. check it out. And then there's a few tips in there as well to do it. Yeah, sweet ass, man. Yeah, thanks for sharing. Um, I'd better get back to the video. All right. Easy. Sweet. Have fun. See you, bro. Bye. Bye. So, as you can see, you know, it has other features as well. So you can change it from tungsten to daylight, which is really cool by using the dials on the back. Um, and it is powered by DC input. You can use either two Sony MPF batteries or you can even use a V-Lock battery. Now it does have the DMX controller in and out so you can obviously attach a few lights together through the DMX controller, control them like that. Um, but it also has a CRI rating of 97. So it reckons it's a really, really uh, color correct light, which from my testing, it does seem to be pretty good. It's just as good as the SL60, if not just a touch better. Now it also does have a fan on the back. Uh, what you can do is it does have a switch so you can turn it off when you actually start shooting, turn it back on when you're just idling. Uh, but this is the sound that's coming out of the fan. So this is me talking normally. This is when I'm actually gonna be turning the fan on. You can obviously hear the sound because it's right here. Your lighting situation would be further away from you in this instance, not close to you, but you can turn it off when you're shooting, put it back on when you're actually just idling and not shooting. So it's up to you, but you probably won't be hearing this. So overall, this is a really good light for the price of it as well. It is a really solid metal build. It's actually quite heavy uh, and it comes in that nice carry box. It also comes with the DC uh, inputs where so you can connect it directly to power if you don't have any batteries or a V-Log battery. So that is really cool coming straight out of the box. Like I said, it's diffused. You can take the barn doors off the front as well if you don't want the barn doors on. So it's purely up to you how you actually want to be using this. But uh, I do find it is really good. It's a nice quality light. Uh, the link will be in the description below if you do want to check it out. It's up to you. Otherwise, the link will be in the description below of the SL60 or the SL200, which is what I generally use. Uh, but this is going to give me a few different options if I do want battery powered in the field and if I don't have any power. So that is a really, really good option if I don't have any power. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. That would be absolutely amazing. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you already haven't and hit that bell notification so you can be notified when my next videos come out. Guys, my name's Jason Morris and I'll see you in the next one. All right, let's get it. Yo, can I just butt in here? Oh, hey guys. Um, yeah, just want to mention that uh, quickly give this video a like. That would be absolutely amazing. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. That would be absolutely amazing because it helps the algorithm, pushes this video to other people. So give it a like. Comment below what you think of this light. And then also comment what kind of light you actually have because we generally use the Cobb lights or the Godox lights. Uh, we might actually start using this. What? I'll leave you to it. See ya.